Fernanda Paiva Hitchhiking Stars and let's talk about the new moon Virgo. So we have a new moon happening at 22 degrees Virgo. It will be precisely at 21 degrees 58 minutes of arc. So it's very, very close to the 22nd degree of Virgo between the 14th and the 15th of September. So it really depends where you are in the world. In the UK, it will be in the early hours of the 15th. So what is this new moon going to be about? So what are the opportunities that this new moon is representing for us? So we have an incredible emphasis in Virgo with the sun and the moon placed together, but also with the ruler of the sun and the moon. So the ruler of this new moon happening um, or being in Virgo as well. So Mercury is at eight degrees Virgo during this new moon, but more importantly as well. So Mercury is very powerfully placed in Virgo because it's its own sign, so it's in its own sort of rulership. But also not only that, Mercury will be stationing um, on the 15th of September. So during the new moon, Mercury will be stationary, which means it will be spinning uh, in its own axis without really, from our perspective, without really moving because it's turning direction. So we're going to see this change of direction on the day of the new moon as well. So I feel that there's something very powerful here with the ruler of the new moon changing direction, being in its own sign and this strong emphasis in Virgo. So there's something about moving on, changing directions, starting again with, you know, this powerful symbolism of a beginning of a lunar cycle as well with the new moon. So something really um, important about the insights that we might have during this new moon that we, you know, if we can ponder, if we can take some time to go inwards a little bit and to see what Mercury changing direction could be reflecting could be telling us um, about some understanding um, an enhanced understanding about how to make our lives work better how to make things work better in our lives as well in general so virgo is the sign of purification as well and purifying and also i think one of the keywords for virgo is um Efficiency is like finding the most efficient way to do things. It's really bringing that sense of purity and purification in that sort of service-oriented um, area of our lives. So whatever Virgo is in your astrology chart, that's where this new cycle will be um, happening, will be really connected to. And, and so it really does have something to do with our health, um, with our diets as well. So if you've been um, thinking about changing the diet, ch- you know, being a little bit more um, focused on your health, on your um, on your body as well, and and how you can improve your digestion. That's very Virgo as well. And how can you improve your digestion of ideas as well? I think we can also think. Um, symbolically here and you know digesting ideas with that mercury turning direction but this new moon has that power that we can set intentions around all of that enhancing our understanding on how to improve our daily rituals how to improve our daily routines the small actions that turn into um, habits, which then turn into big life-changing um, um, occurrences as well. So, a very important uh, part of this fo- of this new moon is definitely this strong Virgoan flavor. Now, another thing that I want to talk about that's exciting about this uh, new moon is that the main aspect. The strongest aspect that this new moon, that the planets, you know, the sun and the moon um, together will be forming is a trine to Uranus. So we have 120 degrees, a dialogue between the sun, the moon and planet Uranus, a 22 degrees Taurus. Now, this is adding another layer of possible interpretation to this new cycle as well. And the idea of 
finding new freedom, finding new ways of doing our daily routines, but which will also free resources or free our time or give us a stronger sense of individuality as well and freedom and personal space. So Uranus has that ability to wake us up as well. There's a sense of awakening with Uranus, awakening to our purpose, awakening to a better way to be out in the world as well, um, to really finding a different way to be and to express ourselves in these daily routines as well. How to bring our resources into these process because Uranus is in Taurus. So that trine is a very um, is a very powerful one because it's almost exact. It's very close. It's the closest aspect that this new moon, that the sun and the moon will be making. So something about awakening, something about getting space, something about being our own person in the world. I think Virgo can also be a sign very much connected with individuality, with, you know, Virgo, the virgin and the virgin goddesses, what they had in common was that they didn't belong to anyone. They belonged to themselves. So this new moon can enhance the awareness of our process of belonging to ourselves rather than belonging to anyone else. And it's really interesting as well because in September we will also have um, the full moon that will happen later will kind of be in dialogue with this new moon. We all also have a very prominent Uranus and this idea of working and becoming aware of our individualities and how to belong to ourselves, how not to lose ourselves. But in the case of this new moon, it's also about being practical and finding um finding, you know, belonging to ourselves, but also in order to serve, in order to offer our gifts to other people as well, which is Um, what Virgo is really about one of the purposes of Virgo is to serve Um, it is about organizing and making things uh, more official there's this incredible ability to analyze and and to um, put things into its proper boxes and you know separate what works from what doesn't work and etc and I think this is the ability the intrinsic ability of Virgo um, to serve so so this is going to be a powerful element here uh, in this new moon so those are the types of intentions that we can set or the types of rituals that we can set to be more on uh, to be a little bit more grounded with what we can serve what we can bring into the world as well so this is definitely really strong and especially with mercury turning directions as i mentioned already previously so with this new moon and mercury moving directions is something that we can think in that will culminate here from the three previous weeks when mercury started going retrograde and so what have we been revisiting and re-looking into and editing and you know ideas that we may be changing um thoughts that might be shifting as well so we can become very aware here in this um, new moon and during this new cycle as well now the other thing that i want to talk about and this is a this is a kind of a parallel energy that's happening with the virgo um which is a little slower which is a little bit more meticulous virgo doesn't like waste of any kind and it's all about uh temperance and 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 doing the small things of every day to um, keep us functioning well. You know, all those daily habits. That's the sixth house. That's Virgo. Now we have a conflicting energy there. Because Venus in Leo will also be forming a square to Jupiter. And I think the 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 story here with this new moon as well is that we might be very aware of where we overdoing. Or where we feeling drawn to overdo things. Or if we have over partied or, you know, if we've overdone in this last um, month, really during Venus going retrograde as well. Like, what were we doing with the Venusian energy there? Um, that this Venus-Jupiter square might be pointing out to 
and might be showing us as well during this cycle. So really is this balance between finding the joy and the fun with that v- Venus in Leo um, and our ability to hold on to our resources with that Jupiter in Taurus as well and be grounded and pace ourselves with a Virgo energy as well. So I think this is this is quite prominent and, and there's a strong energy that will be there as well during this um during this new moon. Now another element here is obviously the Sabian symbols which I always like to have a look and think about and brainstorm meanings as well to, to see if we can if we can have another a sense of another dimension here, if we can stress the the symbolism a little bit more and see if we can get any more insights from it. And I love to work with images and imagery. I find them very powerful, like working with tarot cards where we can see pictures in the cards and that can open the doors of insight to us. The Sabian symbols is a bit similar. So the Sabian symbol for Virgo 22 and I'm using 22, as I said in the beginning, because this new moon will be happening at 2158. So very, very close to the 22nd degree. Um, the imagery for that is a lion tamer rushes fearlessly into the circus arena. Now, is an image of a lion tamer. That's interesting again. And I think it ties in a little bit or resonates with that Venus in Leo square Jupiter that's happening as well on that day so, so somehow the the symbol for that degree of the new moon also resonates with that image of that venus square jupiter and to a certain degree the trying to uranus as well that the moon and the sun are making i think they're also kind of interconnected and the idea with the the lion tamer is is to control or to discipline wild energies so it's using wild strong energies strong impulses that we may have that's represented by the lion into something productive into something that could be used to serve or into something that we might become proud of not just let these energies run amok without any sense of awareness or guidance so when i when i talk about controlling i don't mean controlling in a negative way or suppressing but just directing it into your creative projects into your um creative pursuits or um into the the learnings that you're dedicating yourself to so you can improve your craft in some way Virgo is about a craft, developing a craft. So I think that this taming is directing these energies and the powerful emotions that might come up into something um, that might bring us victory or, um, or, or even entertainment, if we think about the circus. But we need to create something with this. So we need to drive those energies into a place, into something. So sublimating is another way that we can think of. Um, and, and being fearless with these energies as well. But really using that tendency of that Venus-Jupiter square and the, the, you know, the strong desire that this aspect might be reflective of, but direct that strong desire towards something that we can be useful with or something that can be productive in some way, that can be directed to the benefit of others or ourselves and our health as well and our well-being or even our healing process as well so there's something about that that's very strongly connected with this new moon so you can use this imagery or this energies that i just talked about to your benefit to your rituals to create something to create the positive change that you want to see in your life this is my goal this is constructive astrology so that's it i hope this has been helpful and insightful and i'm wishing you all a wonderfully beautiful new moon in virgo and i'll see you soon bye bye